said, yeah, Shogun, 205, more than happy to do it. Yeah, I think this is a better weight class for him. This is the era of the super heavyweight. But guys like Brock Lesnar, that big, when you get to that size, you, you have to reevaluate. If you can win 205, do it. Since Brock Lesnar can't make 205, no way. Flight heavyweight fight. The Hall of Famer Coleman just turned 44, 17 years older than Shogun Hua. Everything else, though, is virtually identical. A highly anticipated rematch here tonight in Ireland, and with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to fight in the U.S. Cage Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins with three losses. Standing six feet one inch tall, he weighed in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone. A wrestler with a professional record of 15 wins and 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, 14.7 stone. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, USA. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion. Presenting the UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior. Kevin Mohal. Mark Shogun, Mark. You've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. And if I tell you to break, you break clean. Do you understand, Mark? Do you understand, Shogun? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Shogun will barely look at Mark Coleman. Yeah, he's not big for stare downs, nope. which is interesting because he's coming from shoot box and Vandalay Silva's famous for them. Mark the Hammer Coleman, the definition of cage fighter, against Mauricio Shogun Hua. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight! Here we go! martial arts career. Coleman, 15 wins. And he's a very decorated wrestler. Very good on the ground in top position. He's got to look out, though, for triangles, arm bars, knee bars. Shogun has a very good jiu-jitsu game. He's rolling for a knee right now. Mark's got to get his leg out of there. He's got to get his leg out of there. Coleman, a national championship at Ohio State as a heavyweight in 88. He turned. He's good. He's up. Shogun's got to hold him on the stand. Shogun's on his feet. Shogun, 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 Shogun. Shogun. Coleman's got to keep those hands up. Coleman not going to go the stand up exchange, Joe. No, he's not, but as long as he can get Shogun to the ground. Such a powerful athlete is Coleman, the 1992 Olympian. Triangle attempt. Mark's got to look out for his legs here. Shogun relentless in his attack as well. Oh, Mark Coleman on his back. When was the last time we saw that? Not very often in a long time. 
time ago, over a decade ago, he fought in the UFC. He immediately Shogun passes his guard instantly. The winner of the UFC 10 and 11 heavyweight tournaments. Shogun's trying to get that arm free. Mark's doing a good job of holding on to it. Now it's free. Shogun's going to try to try to pin down one of Mark's arms with his knee. Shogun, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Coleman, here's a stat for you, has never won a fight in which his opponent has attempted submissions. Since 2004, Coleman not as successful with his takedowns, but so far tonight he's been pretty good. You hear Coleman's corner screaming out for him to get under hooks. And you wonder too, Joe, as this fight gets deeper, that cut to 205. I know Mark Coleman's a wrestler. This is the first time he's been competing at 205 in his life. Will that have an effect on his cardio? Yeah, and as you get older, it's more and more difficult to dehydrate your body and recover. You heard him bad twice. He's hurt. He's looking for a way out. Here, Mouthpiece. Here, Mouthpiece. Did you go to water? How you doing, Mark? You got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hey, you're winning. It's a war, and you're winning. You hurt him twice. He's really hurt him. He's on the rocky legs. Stick it. Stuck that jab right in his face. Yeah. You keep the right hand behind. Just throw punches. Oh, you're in a war. You're a legend. You're doing awesome. This is a great fucking fight, dude. If you really want to right there, you don't move his head. Just stand tall. He's tied here. Blast the straight right hand. Straight right hand. All you need is a straight right hand. Straight right hand. Straight right hand. You're going to win this fight. You want it. You got to suck it right now win. Brandon Hinkle and the New York badass Phil Baroni in the corner of Mark Coleman. Shogun very fresh. Phil trying real hard to pump Mark up. Can he recover though? You know, the game plan should be very simple. Get a hold of him, drag him to the ground. He's got to do it quick because he was getting eaten up in the striking game. Coleman looking for the big power, though. Coleman just avoided the knee. He's still exhausted, Joe. He's eating leg kicks, too. That one to the body. Shogun's very relaxed here. He looks so confident. Coleman trying to answer. Got Coleman landed a, landed a real good jab there. When will he go for the takedown? And remember, as you know, Joe, you try to shoot, you don't have as much energy left. 
Yeah, he's got two hands clasped together, which is always a bad sign. Nice takedown for Coleman. He's got it. This is his opportunity. While he's in this spot, he's got to punch his face. He's got to wear him out. He's got to do damage. When he's got this good position, he's got to do damage. He's got to take advantage. But he's using it to try to take, catch his breath, and that's the problem. Again, the hands are low. Coleman in his last five fights landing only 27% of his takedown attacks. That's the power of Mark Coleman right there. But tonight he's had great success. 71% in his career prior to that. He's got to be careful of the knees here. Shogun using the tie clinch to land a leg kick and an elbow. Solid jab by Coleman. The hammer with the uppercut. But it was, it's like, God, the way his hands are down, it almost seems like you're just waiting for something disastrous to happen. I have the same exact feeling. I mean, look at him here. It's, you know, it's earlier in the fight, like you said, but it makes me think of the Pete Williams kick. Because that's how Coleman was. He was out of it, the hands were low, and it's going to happen again. Oh, man, this is, this is hard to watch. His hands are so low. I mean... You want to think he's playing possum, but it just doesn't seem like it. Again, the cut, Joe, to 205, because you know he worked hard. Yeah. But the cut to 205 for the first time in his life. Yeah, we saw him a few months ago, and he was telling me he was 230. Well, he said the minute, the minute he took the fight at 205, he started gaining weight. He said, I don't know why it's happening, but I started gaining weight. Uh, all that hard training, yeah. 12-year veteran of mixed martial arts. Very proud father of Mackenzie and Morgan. Watching back in Columbus. A true legend of the octagon. Trying to hold on to some of that legendary status. Mark's able to land the left hand, you know, which is kind of surprising. The show goes from this eating that jab. He's got a good time clinch here, though. And he's landed a couple of good knees to Mark, and he's down. Mark has got to take advantage of this. I just don't know how much gas he's got. Shogun kind of pulled guard there, didn't he, Joe? It, it's hard to tell if he fell, if he pulled guard. Pushes Mark right off. Big hammer from the hammer. Looks at the clock, 90 seconds left in the round. Coleman with the left, and again. Shogun looks exhausted himself, and Coleman's got Starting to get the takedowns more frequently here. Homa Plata attempt by Shogun. He's got the foot across the face. He's got to turn. He's got a shoulder lock here. Coleman's in trouble. We got a lot of time, Jay. Over a minute left in the round. Shogun, he's got to reach over and posture up. He's got to hold the Mark's elbow. Mark's in a bad spot here. If Shogun can twist his body. It isolates Mark Coleman's left arm, secures it in place, and then once he's got his left, uh, excuse me, his right foot underneath his knee, Coleman's arm and his shoulder are in deep danger here. He was unable to finish that position. Coleman, this is what, yeah, okay, come on, this is a great fight. He's fine. He's good. He's good. We're gonna win this fight, Coleman. It's fucking. It's a white fight. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, man, he, 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 he's dead, Tari. How'd you lose? He couldn't even do it. He's done.
one, you just gotta throw two right hands in a row. Right hand, right hand. Just throw right hands. We'll start the bell. He's standing there dead tired. Start the bell with right hand throw. Come on, back up. Come on. Let's this is an unbelievable fight, bro. I'm so proud. It's a great fucking fight. We're gonna fucking win, dude. Babalu, Forrest Griffin, go. Mark Coleman, the only three men ever to defeat Mauricio Shogun Hua. Will Coleman do it again tonight? Go, Shogun! Or will Shogun earn a little redemption and revenge against the UFC Hall of Famer Fire. from the Ohio State University? Fight. Still looks exhausted, but so does Shogun, Joe. Yeah, they both Somehow as exhausted tired. as Coleman looked, he was able to get some takedowns. He was able to get some favorable positions in the second round. Yeah, Shogun is standing right in front of Mark, and Mark just landed that jab again. Shogun has no respect for Mark standing. Good body shot. That hurt him. Right to the ribs. Good left hand by Shogun. Coleman has thrown some uppercuts. He's thrown some body shots that have connected a bit. I tell you what, Mike, even if Shogun wins this fight, this does not look good for him. You know, I mean, I mean you got to think there's a tremendous amount of pressure on him here. Coming off the knee surgeries, coming off the loss. But still, Mark Coleman standing right in front of him, which Shogun wants. Shogun is the striker. Shogun's not really able to get much done. Mark Coleman's still here in the third round, and he's got a hold of Shogun, and he's got him on his back. This is not good. But Coleman actually even he got a decision joke. Coleman can knock him out. I mean, look, if Coleman's on top and he's punching you in the face, you got problems. It's how much energy does Coleman have. But he is on top. You know, in the old days, Coleman on top was a death sentence. Yep. Mauricio, because he was the one holding on to him, 
You know, that wasn't illegal. He hit him to the body. Yeah. That's not illegal. It's Come the knees back. to the head of a downed opponent. Yeah, this is just a gift. Ready, this fighters, is, fighters. Let's fighters. take a look at it again. Clearly to the body. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a bad ref fall. Tough to see from his angle, though. But now, you know, Shogun is standing up. And now Coleman is going to look for another takedown. 50 body shot. Coleman's still got big power. You know, if he can, if he can land jabs, he can land his left hook. Coleman swings over the top. Shogun is exhausted. Performance. It did not look good at all. And here's Shogun teeing off. He landed that one to the to the temple. Landed a jab there. Right hand to the chin. His hands are down. Uppercut there on the button, and that one hurt him. Left hook behind it. Mark Coleman doing nothing to defend himself. The referee was forced to stop that fight, Mike. Here you see it again. Shogun just teeing off. The Coleman. uppercut here, nasty. Yeah. Oh. Coleman unable to do anything. Left hook behind it. I mean, that was just target practice for Shogun. An exhausted Shogun. He's angry with the referee stopping still. Mark Coleman, very angry. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mulhall has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 3. Declare the winner by TKO Mauricio Shogun Hula! Wow! What a fight! Uh, Mauricio Shogun Hula. First of all, Mauricio, congratulations on your first win in the UFC. You, now, you, you, you had Coleman very badly hurt on several occasions. You finally finished him off in the last round. Give us your thoughts on the fight. Você lutou, é, bem-vindo de volta ao UFC, você lutou muito bem, lutou para terminar a luta no último round, foi uma batalha. Dá, fala pra gente o que, que você achou dessa luta e do último round. É, Coleman is a good fighter. I am your fan because I really fought a new fight. I watched Coleman fight. And uh, three years before, Coleman win me in Japan. And thank you for fighting me, Coleman. Uh, Shogun, now you, you've had a lot of time off due to knee surgeries and injuries. How much of a factor did that and uh, Octagon Russ play in your performance tonight? Você teve muitas contusões, teve que se recuperar, duas cirurgias no joelho. Até que ponto isso influiu na sua volta no octágono? O que, é que você acha que se interferiu na luta? Influiu porque I long time in no fight and I'm now I come back and uh, now 100%. All right, well, congratulations on your victory. We look forward to seeing you again. Mauricio Shogun Hula, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Joe with Mark Coleman. I just did it. I'm, I'm, I'm upset, really disappointed in myself. Good fight's not good enough. 
I came here to win. Well, you, you know what? You, you had some, some great moments in the fight. You, you exhausted him. It was really obvious at one point in time that he was completely worn out. You were on top of him. Did you think you were going to be able to finish him in that position? Yeah. But uh, he wasn't, he's not a former world champion for anything. He's a tough son of a bitch. I think I deserve another one. It's one to one. Let's do it again, Shogun. I respect you, but I can beat you. All right, well, Mark, we love you. We look forward to seeing you again. You're a UFC Hall of Famer. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the hammer, Mark Coleman. His cage fighter shirt honoring his fallen friend, Marine Major Ray Mendoza, who was one of his collegiate roommates.